briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Mark Polman, a retired Air Force serviceman with an inclination for alternative lifestyle choices, found himself in the heart of a complex court case in 2000. United States v. Polman, heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. After his early retirement due to his predilection for cross-dressing, Polman, now divorced and grappling with loneliness, sought company in online spaces dedicated to alternative lifestyle discussions. The pursuit of companionship led him to Sharon, a seemingly understanding woman with peculiar family needs. However, it turned out Sharon was an undercover agent intent on exposing child predators. The case revolved around a controversial principle. The government is not permitted to create a crime where one does not exist, but it can use specific tactics to bring existing criminals to justice. Pullman was convicted of explicit communication with Sharon, who was posing as a child molester. Pullman appealed, arguing that the government had ensnared him. Prosecutors, he claimed, had induced him into a crime which he would not have undertaken otherwise. In a landmark decision, the court upheld Pullman's contention of entrapment. The ruling hinged on the fact that the prosecution could not conclusively prove that Pullman had an underlining predisposition towards minors before the agent's provocative communication. Consequentially, the court overturned Pullman's conviction and found the government's pursuit of convictions had unfairly entrapped an innocent person. His immediate release was ordered, marking a significant victory for upholding the rights of individuals against potential governmental overreach. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.